How do I start investing in the stock market as a newcomer and without knowing how to get at least 15% return in the long term? Entering the world of stock market investing can feel like walking into one of those old packed record stores with no idea where your favorite album is. You know it's there somewhere, but where do you even start? First things first, let's talk about expectations. Chasing after a 15% return right out of the gate is like going to the batting cages and expecting to hit every pitch out of the park. Not only is it unrealistic, but it's also a dangerous way to start your investing career. The stock market isn't a high score challenge. It's a tool for building wealth slowly over time. Now, on to the main jam. Educate yourself. Don't even think about buying a stock until you understand how the market works. Fortunately, there are a ton of resources out there. Books like The Intelligent Investor by Benjamin Graham or One Up on Wall Street by Peter Lynch are great starting points. And since we live in the golden age of information, there are countless websites and YouTube channels dedicated to investment education. Start with index funds or ETFs. Index funds and ETFs are like getting a slice of the whole stock market pizza, rather than betting on one topping. They automatically diversify your investment and often come with lower fees than actively managed funds. Over time, they have been shown to perform quite well, which is why the legendary investor Warren Buffett recommends them for newcomers. Use retirement accounts. If you haven't maxed out your Roth IRA or contributed to a 401k if your employer offers one, that's a great way to start. These accounts come with tax advantages that will amplify your investment efforts. Plus, retirement accounts are all about long-term growth, which aligns perfectly with a sustainable investing approach. Dollar cost averaging. This is a fancy way of saying invest consistently. By putting in a fixed amount of money at regular intervals, you buy fewer shares when prices are high and more shares when prices are low, which can lead to a lower overall cost for your investment. Stay diversified. Don't put all your eggs, or in this case, dollars, into one basket. Spread your investments across different sectors and asset classes to minimize risk. Patience is key. The stock market can be volatile. Prices will go up and down, sometimes by a lot. The key is to stay focused on the long term and resist the urge to make hasty decisions based on short-term movements. As for the 15% target, it's not completely out of the question over some periods, but it's higher than the historical average annual return of the stock market. Over the long term, the S&P 500 has returned about 7-8% annually after adjusting for inflation. Remember, investing in the stock market isn't a sprint, it's a marathon, one that you're more likely to succeed at if you're not trying to break records, but instead are striving for consistent long-term growth. And for those chill moments when you're reflecting on your investment strategy, maybe take a page out of my book here in Portland, Oregon, find a nice quiet spot in Forest Park, sit down with your thoughts, and just breathe. Sometimes stepping back is the best way to see the whole picture. 